a new cancer treatment that may just be worth its weight in gold. Scientists from the National University of Singapore are turning to extremely tiny gold nanoparticles to enhance the precision of treatments. Researchers found that gold nanoparticles of certain shapes, such as triangles, excel in delivering therapeutic nucleic acids. The gold nanoparticles can also deliver drugs directly to a specific location within a tumour, as well as heat up tumour cells and kill the surrounding cancer cells. With different tumour cells preferring differently shaped nanoparticles, the findings could mean personalised cancer treatments that are safer and more effective. And here to share more about how it works and what these findings mean for us is Assistant Professor Andy Tay from the NUS College of Design and Engineering. He's also Principal Investigator at NUS Eye Health Tech. Professor Tay, welcome to the program. Good evening. So it is a well-known fact, isn't it, that gold particles are lethal to cancer cells. But tell us what's so new and interesting about your research. What sparked this idea of using gold nanoparticles to treat cancer? The project started with a very simple idea. If we can know what nanoparticles that cancer cells prefer, can we then develop better anti-cancer therapy? Mm. So imagine, let's use a pasta analogy. We may both enjoy pasta, but the shapes that we enjoy may be quite different. So if you can find out what shapes do cancer cells prefer, then we can develop drugs carrying this particular shape of nanoparticle and use it to target cancer cells. In fact, in our studies, we find that across many different shapes, including circles, rods, and triangle, cancer cells prefer to uptake triangle nanoparticles. Mm, that's fascinating. They are small but mighty, these gold nanoparticles. Uh, how do they help improve the safety and efficacy of cancer treatments? And does it complement um, existing cancer treatments like chemotherapy, or is it meant to become a replacement eventually? Right. There are often two main goals in all cancer therapy. Firstly, is to make it more effective. Secondly, is to reduce the side effects. So let's say in right now, we know that cancer cells prefer triangle nanoparticles. It means that we can use triangle nanoparticles to deliver drugs preferentially to the cancer cells. This will increase efficacy. At the same time, because the healthy cells do not like the triangle nanoparticles, they do not take it up. Therefore, mm. we can reduce the side effects. In this way, you can look at it in the sense that we can develop gold nanoparticles to carry chemotherapy drugs. So this can complement existing chemotherapy. At the same time, like what we did in the studies, we loaded RNA as a medicine on the gold nanoparticles. Mm. So this can be developed fully as a new treatment modality. That's great. But earlier you were talking about this treatment being able to reduce side effects. In what way does that work? So it reduces side effects because healthy cells, unlike cancer cells, do not like the triangle nanoparticles. Mm. So if you have a chemo drugs on the triangle nanoparticles, the healthy cells do not uptake the chemo drugs. So this will reduce the side effects associated with traditional chemotherapy. Okay, and beyond cancer treatment, Professor Tay, uh, your team also found that it has broader therapeutic use, like targeting diseases in specific yes. organs. How can the, this technology be adapted to that? Okay, so um, we can imagine uh, that, let's say after this interview, we decided to go NTOC to buy a pasta. At the checkout, we may have uh, pasta bags of like spaghetti, uh, Fisili uh, macar macaroni, mm -hmm. how does the cashier know what shapes of nanoparticle did we buy? Mm. That is because each bag of pasta has a barcode. So when we wanted to embark on this project, we also created nanoparticles with many different shapes. But to able to identify them, we tag each nanoparticle shape with a unique DNA barcode. And with this technology called sequencing, we can read the barcode. And from there, we can know which barcode has uh, greater accumulation in different organs and then which shape of nanoparticle corresponding to this barcode accumulates the most. So in my opinion, this is a very powerful approach. We can map each shape of nanoparticle to their best preferred organ that they accumulate. And we can use it for many treatments in cancer, for regeneration. Mm. All right, turning to DNA barcoding, that's interesting. Um, but I think the big question now is, is it costly? Yes. Does the use of gold nanoparticles mean that treatment would become more expensive? Don't worry. Actually, with gold <laughs> nanoparticles, because it is much more effective, we are able to use it at a much lower doses of medicine. Mm. So actually, with lower doses, it actually makes the treatment more cost-effective. Uh, it also reduces the side effects and also increases the efficacy of treatment. 
And will this treatment eventually be made accessible for the general population? So um, the Singapore government uh, launched the Nuclear Acid Therapeutics Initiative called NetEye last year okay. with the goal to uh, commercialise nuclear acid-based uh, therapeutics. So I hope that through this interview, we can also attract their attention into our invention and hopefully they will provide funding to nurture a homegrown technology so that we can benefit cancer patients worldwide. Well, let's hope so. And what's next for your team then? What can we expect to see? When can we expect to see this product uh, on the market? This is a really great question. Um, in my opinion, when I go to a restaurant order pasta, mm -hmm. I do not just care about the shape, but also the sauces on it. Uh, my favourite is tomato. I'm not sure what is yours, maybe carbonara. <laughs> um, but right now, we are really exploring, besides the shape of the nanoparticle or nanopasta, mm -hmm. does the coating also affect how it in, interacts with the cancer cells? So we are expanding our library of nanoparticles mm -hmm. with the goal that we can identify the best shape and coating uh, to fight cancer. All right, I'm loving your pasta in, uh, analogy here. Um, how do you see this treatment changing you know, the way we treat cancer in the future? Do you, do you see it as a game changer in the industry? I definitely do uh, think that that is so. Um, the traditional approaches in cancer, especially for chemotherapy, is uh, very universal. It attacks all types of cells, mm. the cancer cells, but also the healthy cells. So as a result, we need to develop uh, nanoparticles, or we call it nanomedicine, that has better ability to target cancer cells, to improve efficacy, but also does not attack the healthy cells, so it reduces the side effects. All right, Professor Tay, pleasure speaking with you. Thank you Thank so you. much for speaking with us about this. That was Assistant Professor Andy Tay from NUS.